How's it going, guys? Um, this video is going to be to show you guys how to partition your SD card using Amiraz 1.5.2 or 1.3.2 and higher. Um, first thing you want to do is go ahead and wipe Data Factory Reset your phone. Only takes a couple seconds. Complete. Then you're going to want to go down to Partition SD Card. It's the second one from the bottom. Click trackball, it'll say partition SD card. Click the trackball again. Press home to confirm. You don't want to set your swap size to 128. And you're going to want to set, I always set my ext 2 size up in the 4000s. 4224. And then you press home to confirm and let it partition. This normally takes anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds. Sometimes it can take up to a minute. And if you guys aren't using Amiraz 1.5.2, um, you guys need to. <laughs> I would have a video up. Um, on how to use it, how to install it, but I need to get a new camera. Um, and then what you're going to want to do, it'll say partition complete, and you want to go down to SD, EXT2, DXT3. Go ahead, click trackball, press home, let it convert EXT2, DXT3. This is where you're actually, now you're creating your partitions. And then if you want, I always do it, I always go EXT3, DXT4. Um, a lot of people are like, well, these ROMs don't work on it, if you work right if you have EXT4, and I've never had a problem with any ROM on Flash, I flash a lot of ROMs, um, I've never had a problem with EXT4. You go on, just scroll down to EXT3 to EXT4, go ahead and click trackball, press home to confirm. This one's a, the quickest one. and now you're done. Now this is a part where you can also do this. Go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. And you could go ahead and back out of this. Go to USB MS toggle. Toggle on your mass storage. And open up your system, your files, and go ahead and insert a ROM of your choice. We'll do we'll do Eclair 2.1 version 1.5, one of my favorites. Like I said, I will soon, hopefully, be making videos on how to, ins you know, flash the uh, recovery images, how to flash, actually flash ROMs. I can't do it right now because, obviously, everyone knows YouTube only accepts 10-minute videos, and it takes a little bit longer than 10 minutes to do the whole process of rooting your phone and everything. So, I can't pause it because I'm using a digital camera. My digital camera won't pause. So, alright, now that you got that on your SD card, go ahead and... Go back to your phone, press home to disable USB mass storage, and go flash zip from SD card, and go ahead and flash your, uh, flash your ROM. I'm not going to do it. Well, if I was going to do it, I'd go ahead and flash ROM, let it flash, and reboot the phone. But I have this ROM saved. I have this ROM saved in my Nandroid file, so should just do this when I was connected earlier. Instead of doing that, I'll go ahead and delete it. I will put the backup of the files I made on my computer. I will put the Nandroid backup on here.
it's going to take a while. I have so many. I have 1.24 gigabytes of ROM <laughs> backed up on my phone. So I'm probably not going to be able to get to it in this video to show you guys the actual backup. But that's how you uh, go ahead and that is how you go ahead and as, uh, partition your SD card. Very simple. Um, like I said, a lot of people will say EXT4 doesn't work for certain ROMs. I normally flash about one to two ROMs a day sometimes. I always partition EXT4. Even with the ROMs that people say don't work, they've always worked for me. Um, I'm running a 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte class 6 SD card. It's a transcend. I do recommend that card to everybody. You can find it on Amazon.com. Real cheap. I think mine only costed me. Mine only costed me. I think. I want to say. Twenty-one dollars, and then I I also got the uh, overnight shipping. So that was actually like ten bucks, but regular shipping you're looking at twenty two twenty three dollars probably, and you have an awesome card which will make your phone run a lot faster if you're having problems with uh with your phone lagging a lot, that would be your answer when I first started flashing ROMs and doing this stuff. It was happening to me if you want to check out my very first video I'm pretty sure the name the title of it i'll put I'll put a uh, it in the sidebar. You see what my what my uh, phone was doing, and then if you look at all my other videos, they're nice and smooth. It's because of the SD card. But that's it for this video. Hope this uh, showed you guys how to, you know. Hope you guys learned something out of this video. Um, please rate five stars if you will. Comment, subscribe. I have a lot of videos coming soon. Once I get my new camera, I will be doing a lot more different, more informative videos. But comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.